What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Plants vs. Zombies 2 and a new plant is available in early access. It's called the Draftadil. Let's unlock it right now because I got the seed packets and then uh, let's go ahead. Uh, we unlocked it. We got it. So Draftadil right here right now. Level 1. Uh, it's sun cost 100, toughness 300, recharge 5, damage 15. It affects the lane. It's specials that slows down flyers. So this thing confused me. Drafted deals windmill constantly, slowing flying zombies, and also shoot air cannon blasts that knock flying zombies off the lawn. So that's interesting. Uh, we'll see how this works. Its usage just briefly stuns non-flying zombies. Uh, air cannon knocks critters, imps, and shrunken zombies off the lawn. Drafted deal looks like she's full of hot air, but she isn't. She's full of highly compressed air. There's a difference. We're going to test out the Drafted deal and see how it works in today's episode, uh, primarily by going first to the travel log and uh, letting this scroll through all of the quests that we completed because I forgot to, to reset this before we started today's episode. That's okay, how many pages of this do we have? Uh, but no, I'm excited to showcase the draft to deal. You know, the Blover is one of the most useful plants in certain situations, especially when you're trying to get scores, trying to blow away a bunch of zombies and whatnot. I wanna see what the draft to deal does so I have a better understanding of how it actually works. And yeah, we got a lot. I mean, we're getting a lot of rewards here. So this is how I mean, I get a lot of gems. You know, I'm getting like five gems each time. Uh, a couple mints, another five gems coming up. There we go. Surely there's something in the travel log, event-wise. Um, but let's just see. If that's true. Uh, concealment drafted deal. Five steps in the epic quest to showcase the drafted deal. Thank you guys for being here, by the way. Thanks for subscribing. I really do appreciate it. What do we got? We got a. Uh, Plant draft a deal to slow and eliminate flying zombies. Got it. So we'll see how it works. We'll let the flying zombies come onto the field first before I put one down. And that way we'll get to check it out. So there's a flying zombie. What happens? Okay. Okay. Hold on. So it's gone. The flying zombie just left. It also knocked away the imp. So this is like kind of like a more permanent over like plant but it affects smaller this is really good this this affects smaller things that's really good let's put um uh, let's put that there there we go now let's see what we got going on if we kind of double up on these i don't know so yeah these guys are so weak they're just gonna be flung away and you can tell the draft of dills you know power isn't that wonderful in the sense that the graves are still here but it's really wonderful in the sense that these imps and flying creatures are just being flung away. Very cool. They are always coming up with new plants in this game. What will they think of next? We have two columns of Draftadils. Will they give me more? They will. Now here's a lot. Now I feel like, you know, every time there's a new plant, I like to take them on the special Pirate Sea stage and see how it does. I think our answer is oh, maybe already answered here that they're going to be able to take care of a whole bunch. Oh no, here we go. The Jester Zombies. How are they going to handle the Jester Zombies? It seems like they're... Yeah, I don't even know what to say. I mean, yeah, they're... Okay, so it does do damage to them as well. We haven't got any plant food, so I can't really test that out. So... Hopefully a future... Yeah, we're good, we're good. These imps are being eliminated. Very cool, very cool. Okay, well, that worked out quite well, honestly. So, uh, let's see what the next step is like. When, you know, it's gonna... What is it gonna do? It's gonna show us what this time? What, what could possibly be left? <laughs> no, let's see what happens. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so we gotta protect. So this is interesting, what, what do we got here? We got, there's a draft of deal. Now, just out of curiosity, let's see. Okay, we got him, we got him. So, this is gonna be a weird one because, oh, the, okay, nice, the bird just immediately goes away, I like that a lot. This is gonna be a weird one because the other plants are so strong. That you know, getting hit with some of these other things is going to be probably more than enough. All 
I like it though. The, the birds just immediately go away. That's really cool. There's never a super great defense against those, but now there, there definitely is a better one. Let's keep them coming. Yeah, see, we're like, I think, oh yeah, now we can use plant food. I forgot about plant food. Hold up. Okay, okay, hold on. So, hold on, let's look at, okay, well, he's gone too. It shoots out a whole bunch. Okay, well, we're done. <laughs> didn't, I mean, I didn't really get to see what the plant food did that time, but that's okay. We're going to move on to the next step. We'll eventually showcase the plant food at some point. Epic Quest draft deal. Let's see what we got going on here. Well, he said plant more draft a deal. What's the deal with the draft a deal? All right, let's see how it fares on here. So it's just gonna hit these a few times. It kind of temporarily stuns them. But of course, when the flying guys come out, that's when the, the real action happens, right? Let's see, let's see. Let's see how well it clears out this row. Not great. <laughs> so, huh. So far, I think we're doing wonderful, though. Oh, yeah. There you go. Let's see if we're all super powered. There we go. Here. Okay, let's see, it kind of breaks through. I really like the color of this plant. Got some coins here. Yeah, here we go again. I mean, when the numbers really get here. There you go. Blast away. Let's see. T can this take on a gargantua bar? Not really, no. But, <laughs> you know. Well, I did a lot of damage to him. So, there you go. Look at that. Holy cow. That was pretty cool. I'm not exactly sure what we learned, but <laughs> it's always fun to do these stages. So let's go over here. We got four and five up next. And then we're gonna see, uh, we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see what's, what's happening. Ready, set, plant. All right, this is probably gonna show us cause like if something's shrunk, it'll go away. Oh my God. Uh, Chickens go away, please. Okay, good. So they're effective against chickens. We just learned that. Uh, let me, I don't know, put these up here. I'll put this down here to kind of slow them down a little bit. But if we want to show how it works, shrink him. He's going to shrink. Oh, well, he's dead. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. But you get the idea. Here. Okay. Move up there. Shrink, shrink these guys here really quick. Hold on. Oh, oh man. Okay, hold on. It's not gonna work because I planted it. Hold on. We'll we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Hold on. All right. Come on now. All right. He look. He's he, these guys are shrunk. You hit one of these bucket heads up here, it just hits him, stuns him, does a little damage. You hit one down here, he's small, he goes flying away. So that's pretty cool. So you wanna shrink these right here. Oh, they're, well, they're already airborne, so, okay, yeah, hold on. Yeah, let's put some protection around these guys. It's hard to remember. All right, all right, all right, hold on. Oh, we got another one, hold up. I guess we'll just put that there, I don't know. There you go, there you go. The more I can get, the better, honestly, so. Oof, okay, there you go. Now look, all these little guys are getting tossed aside. You gotta love that. The draft a deal, my friends. All right, I think we're pretty safe here. This is good. 
Oh, wow. Let's see if I can shrink whoever. Okay, okay. Okay, we'll shrink him a little bit. They're gonna get blown away, hopefully, soon. There you go. And mission complete, stage complete. So that's pretty cool. The, um, what else we got? One more step. Step five, step number five. And we're gonna see, I mean, I don't know, we'll see. I wonder if when, no dinosaurs in this stage, that's okay. Oh wow, yeah, hold on, let's get some uh, sun production up. And we can start putting draftadils in here. Boom. I think it crushed immediately there. Hold up. There we go. So now these, we got, the, oh, now hold on. The, that amp isn't getting blown away imme immediately, but it eventually does. Interesting. The draft deal is only 100. Seems like a pretty good price for it. Let's do this, kind of kick everything into high gear. There we go again. All right, I like what I'm seeing here. This is going really well. We have enough, uh, enough money, enough sun, I mean. Boom, maybe break the barrel open, I don't know. Okay, attack, attack that one. So that one had to break a little ice first to get this guy out of the way. Here we go, let's use this. Everything will be working a little bit harder now. You get it like that. I like a plant with a good work ethic. And what do we got? What do we got? Oh, we're good. We're good. Okay, that was uh, step five of the Draftadil Epic Quest, which means we get more seed packets, which means we'll be able to level them up again, which is interesting. So we'll basically be taking a level two Draftadil into further testing. And so I kind of want to see how the Draftadil does on um, stages with dinosaurs. I'm just curious how it, how it works with the, the things that dinosaurs kick. I'm just really curious about that. Uh, but furthermore, let's go over here really quick and get this draft to deal leveled up. Uh, its toughness is gonna go up. It's gonna slow down flyers, but it's gonna do even more damage, a lot more damage compared to 15. And its recharge is better. So there you go. I imagine with time, this might drop to 75 in price, but we will see. So, uh, let's let's take it to a couple stages. I mean, there's not a ton of stages I need. Uh, but, oh, yeah, but we saw that the gestures were kind of affected in an interesting way. They weren't spinning in the shot back, were they? Anyway, let's go to uh, the, pirates, the Pirate Seas. And then what we'll do is we'll pick that stage that I love doing, which is kind of a farming type stage. It's a kind of a farming test. Test bed, so to speak. And I think it was 22. I don't know how I would forget that, but 22. I think it's 22 at least. So yeah, plant, yeah, you get to plant your defense and then see how it does. So that's what the, the plan is. And so, what are we gonna do here? Um, okay, no, I don't, it doesn't matter what I bring in. But draft a deal will be one thing I bring in. And that's the only plant I'm gonna plant. So I'm, I'm imagining this is gonna go really well. And I hope it does, I hope I'm not wrong. Cause we're gonna be able to cover like this whole, what? Oh, <laughs> I was like, what? I was clicking the wrong thing a little bit. So look at this, we got the whole thing covered. Let's rock, let's see how it handles 
a bunch of zombies at once, especially weak zombies, especially zombies that it's made to just eliminate. So, these guys are swinging in. Swinging kind of slow, they're gone. That cannon's gone too. So even before the imps got to shoot out, that cannon was gone. Zombies are moving in kind of slow though. These cannons, hold on, let's see if they even fire a shot. Okay, they did, they did fire a shot, but the imps got interrupted. This is probably the best plant for this stage yet. Like specifically for this stage, it's like this plant was made for this stage. <laughs> I'm so glad I tried it out. We're seeing them get rid of the imps as they're being shot out. We're seeing the cannons themselves uh, be, you know, affected to the point where they're, you know, they're, they break. The imps have not even crossed the threshold yet. This is this is amazing. This plant was made for this stage. I haven't seen a plant do this well in this stage yet. Bowling ball was did well, but this the imps haven't even reached ground yet. Wow, this is a really good stage for this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, some of them, but they're gone. They're gone immediately. Some of the cannons are exploding. I can only imagine what this would be like once this thing gets to like level 10 or whatever. Holy cow. Wow, we annihilated them. That was so cool. Okay. That was cool. What can I say? That was real cool. That was really awesome. So, uh, I guess what I would like to do... Um, hmm. Let me think about it. Well, let's, uh, let's see what's what. I guess I kind of do want to try... I kind of want to try Dark Ages. And I just want to see what happens if I only plant these and nothing else. Because they may not be tough enough to take out, like, the graves. So we'll see what happens. I don't, I don't really know what to expect. Stage 16 is as good as any, though. But we'll, we'll find out what happens. Huh. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. So yeah. I mean, I still need some sort of sun production, of course. So we're going to bring in the sun shroom. Might as well... Might as well really, really try to ramp up sun production here. Just in case. But that's pretty much all I want to plant. The rest of the stuff will just be brought in just because we have to bring in something here. So let's rock. Let's see how we do. That's good. Hold up. All right. Are there any graves yet? So far, we're okay. Here, this here's some graves. We're gonna have a hard time with this one right here. Necromancy may not even be able to pull it off. I don't know. See, this is really, really. If there's something that this drafted deal is not good at is dealing with graves. It's just not doing a lot of damage to these graves at all. Oh, in fact, this one's blocked off, so this one got okay. I see. Yeah, so he was able to actually get through. Oh wow, yeah, this is gonna be tough. This is going to be a tough sell. Hold up. We finally got something, though. More graves. Okay, I'm going to use this to try to break through the grave. Thank you. We are doing just fine. This, yeah, we're going to have to use our plant food to really, really... And even with the plant food, look, they're, they're coming through really hard. Like right here, they're, they're, there's not much else we can do. They're really coming through on this uh, second row. Because he has a helmet. He's being protected. I mean, we could shrink them, obviously, but that wasn't the point of this exercise. The point was to see how well they do with these more 
armored and more robust zombies than just the imps. And it looks like they're not handling it too well, so you definitely want to bring in... If you have zombies like this, you're definitely going to want to bring in something that can handle the zombies like this. We were going to have to lose a lawnmower, but we probably won't make it, even make it past this, so we'll play it out. But I imagine that this is not going to go too well. Yeah, the armored zombies are, are just not doing good on it. I mean, they're doing good, but the Draftodils are not doing good against the armored zombies. And more graves. Now, the good news is the Jesters aren't having, you know, the, the Draftodils aren't having such a hard time with the Jesters. Here we go, try again. Yeah, look, they're still standing tall, standing firm. Wow. Yep. You definitely want to supplement these with something else. Like once you have enough, you're kind of safe, but some of these do not have enough. Oh boy, yeah, this is tough. Now the bottom row. Wow, okay. Yeah, that bottom row is in deep trouble. But it is what it is, what it is, I guess. So so far we've lost almost all the lawnmowers. Probably gonna lose that lawnmower in the fourth road down. Because I can't imagine not. Now first row's struggling again too. Okay, so first with first row struggling again, I hope that we have enough to fight them off. I just don't know. Maybe, but like he's so tough. Oof. So maybe the yeah, maybe we'll be okay and not lose another lawnmower on the first row. Second row, though, we're also experiencing some difficulties, so we'll see. Yeah, because we have two of these guys on the second row. Can we hold them off with just drafted deals? I don't know. I really don't. But yeah, actually, we can if we use plant food. Oh, there's like a lot of them. Hold on. Let's use this one more. Okay, maybe. Yeah, there was a lot more bundled up there than I thought. Goodness gracious. We got him, but we did use our plant food, which is fine, but I was hoping to do it without. So there's there's that. All right. Well, I'm happy. I'm happy with that. That was a good good one. Uh, let's do one more stage, and I want to take it to the, the prehistoric times. The Colossal Fossil, right? That's what it's called. Or wait, am I getting confused? Was that a hero's thing? What's it called here? Jurassic Marsh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Colossal Fossil was from Plants vs. Zombies Heroes. So let's just go pick a stage and see how they... I'll bring in a mixed bag of things. La Brains of Tar Pits. 30? I don't know. 30 sounds good, maybe. I really don't know which stage is which. You know, I don't really remember them. Are there, any, are there dinosaurs on this one? Yeah, there are. Okay, yeah, let's see how it handles it. So we definitely want to bring in what we were, were bringing in. Um, you know, we could do the same type of thing where we just try to play it 
with with those only and see how they handle but i don't know you know what i'll, I'll bring in here's what i'll do i'll bring in what they recommend basically which is to bring them in along with i'll bring these in, in case we need them and then well i'll bring the shrinking violets just in case i need to really make some progress on those uh the shrinking violets are right here maybe we'll imitate them So, let's rock. Here we go. So, one, two, plant. We didn't get to, like, set them up or anything, so. But there you go. We'll put those there. I don't... I'm not... By the way, I'm not expecting them to, like, impact the dinosaurs. I'm just wondering, uh, like, when the dinosaurs, like, kick them ahead or rush them ahead, will they have any, uh, you know, major thing? Let's see. And, well, the fact that there were imps are good because those imps are gone quickly. Oh yeah, keep in mind that you know, I don't I don't want the pterodactyls in play right now, so I'm gonna try to capture the pterodactyls. These guys are pretty strong, so I'm gonna go and shrink these guys just to help get rid of them a little bit quicker. Yeah, there you go. That's what I like to see. I like to see him gone quickly. These guys have are really strong. They're really well armored. All right, all right. I, I want to see like if he kicks someone forward, will that make a difference? Yes. Wow. So that, okay, I'm glad I did this. They did not showcase this in the, uh, oh gosh, we need this guy shrunk. They did not showcase this during, uh, oh, do they not shrink the gargantuars? Are you kidding me, the gargantuars not shrink? There he goes, there he goes. So they did not showcase this during the thing, but yes, when the dinosaurs kick them forward, they are technically flying, so they just go. Oh, and he kicked a gargantuar forward, so he was gone as well. And this is all we're using. We're just using these and also the shrinking violet in time of stress. So. All right. This is great. Glad we did this so I could learn. Blue, you're getting rid of them for me. Practically getting rid of them for me, honestly. But hey, let's go ahead and shrink this. All right, great. Let's go ahead and shrink him again. Oh, he doesn't need to be shrunk that time. So yeah, I think we had a pretty good showcase. I got to showcase everything that I had in mind. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to come back next time for some more Plants vs. Zombies 2. And, of course, I'll see you then. Every time there's a new plant, I showcase it. Every time there's a new event, I try to showcase it. So everything is going great here. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I will see you next time for more. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit Zach Scott dot shop. Come back next time for more.